I could put webs all over. Good morning. I am here today with this handsome man called Benjamin Landers. There was a spider on her truck. Uh, a heads up is that he is way better at talking than I am, so I'm not surprised if he's going to lead this video today. He doesn't even know what this video is about. <laughs> Look, we kind of match. Today's video is about gym safety. I feel like I see so much stuff at the gym and I'm like, this is an accident waiting to happen. So I wanted to talk about gym safety today. What is like the number one thing you see that people do that is not safe, but you know, like you, we obviously never tell anyone anything because that's just not our place. For women that I see, a big thing is your hair. Put your hair up, put your hair up girl. <laughs> Unsafe gym shoes, shoes that are not safe to work out in, and excessive jewelry. Sometimes I see a fashion show. You look real good, but I don't want you to die. What do you see in the mail? <coughs> mail area? I just woke up. <laughs> the record, he just said everything, <laughs> but that's not fair. Cause like, if you, I, like, I'm not even talking about beginners. Cause like, if you're a beginner, you just don't know. I just made like a little collection of things, how to be safe in a rack setting. Well, you probably said most of it, but you should use the safety bars no matter what you're doing. I mean, I've never really done anything that I didn't think I would relatively be able to do, I think is like, that made no sense. It did make um, sense, it did make sense. Cause I get, I get what you're saying, like. If, if you have no idea if you can squat two plates, don't just put two plates and try. <laughs> um, like, you, like you should always relatively know what you're capable of, or at least start on the lower end of it. And then if you know you have no capability of doing something. Oh my God, do you remember? Like, do you remember that guy who asked you for a spot? Yeah. And this is how he spotted you? I don't know if I ever talked. I, I did talk about it on YouTube. He wanted me to put my he hand. wanted He wanted this type of spot. It was very strange. He wanted me to be under him while he was squatting. And then when I didn't help him enough, he was like, why didn't you? You, you really let me have it. I was like so confused because this was like maybe two to three years into me being in a gym. And, and I was like, I mean, that's still a pretty long time. I, I, was, I, was, I don't know. I had never, no one had really ever asked me to spot them, especially on a squat. And he wanted me to like be under him, under the bar, pushing him up. And I was like, no, I'm not going to die for you. And he put on like five plates and he was barely squatting. I was there. I was there. It was literally like this much. It was a very awkward experience. And, and I we kinda, left after that. Yeah. We left. Just, it's I, like we both felt really icky. We were like, what just happened? It was like almost like invasive. He, he got upset <laughs> because I literally didn't pick him up. Like he wanted me to wrap my arms around him and pull him up. But he wanted me to do it right here. <laughs> and like push up <laughs> as he was squatting. I was like, what is happening, sir? So yeah, no, and, and then when, when I didn't do it good enough for him, I, I was like, okay, I'm done. The biggest thing is like, a lot of people are scared of going into the gym because you're not sure of like proper form, but like form is all over the place on YouTube. Um, I would say find someone that you trust because not even all personal trainers know how to do form. I've, oh I've seen gosh. many people training other people in the gym and it's a mess and they're not really sure how to properly squat or how to properly deadlift or even bench. And uh, I would just say find someone that you trust and that looks like they're doing it right on YouTube as a starting point. Um, oh, I did wanna say something about this. A lot of gym bros that have been in the gym for let's say 15, 20 years, they may not do things exactly like you're supposed to do, but it's because they've been there for so long. Like they've, done all the basics they've done all of that and now they're like pinpointing on what they want to grow you know what i mean like i don't know some of them like... dudes that have been going to the gym for a <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah but you know what i mean like so if you see someone that my focus is not to grow my lats i don't want big pecs i don't want to have gigantic shoulders or traps so i'm not gonna work out those muscle groups more than more than what i get from like a compound movement or whatever but you do see a lot of people who 
have been in there for a long time and they're like pinpointing specifics on in their physique that they're trying to fix and then i see some people trying to copy what they do and i'm like no like just learn the basic learn how to bench properly from the start for like from scratch and then when you've done that for a long time and you're like oh i want this specific part to grow more then you can start doing those things squatting is for squatting deadlifting is for deadlifting if you want to target something different i would say go do a different exercise yeah but that's what i was trying to say because the way that i understood that is yeah if you're gonna bench and you want to hit this then just start benching like this <laughs> no because <laughs> No, I'm good, dog. No, no, no I'm just saying, like, like for example, like if you do a pec fly, there's a specific way to do a pec fly. But then some people do a, a one-armed angled pec fly that is sideways, isolateral. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, like, if you can't bench or if you cannot do like a regular pec fly, don't start going with the angles and the. the that's what I was trying to say. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. You're, you're, you you got it out better than I did. I don't think so. I don't feel like I'm good at talking anymore. Hence. I don't make videos anymore. <laughs> Back to the gym safety stuff. So I'm saying that like learning proper form is obviously like the whole point of going to the gym so that you can build your physique and be healthy and whatever the fuck. Um, there's so much that is surrounding it. Like one thing that I just thought of is the barbell path. Like people like for, for example, for him, um, there's always some lady who wants to do yoga right under your barbell. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with doing yoga and there's nothing wrong with benching on a barbell but i'm just saying don't go do yoga under the barbell path you don't want to be rude and say like hey like can that's you just, move because they, just... they were there first but like just you can't go put your yoga mat right under the barbell path because you will be crushed to death she just thought that being outside of the squat rack was good enough so she set up her yoga mat as i'm squatting under the barbell <laughs> i'm just like Hello. Gym safety has just gone out the window. But then what do I know? I'm just I don't like think a, it was ever in the window. But it has been in my window because I'm It could have been in your window, but it ain't in no one's window. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fish-eating Swede, so... I just... I, like, there's such an overflow of how to build your glute medius. And no one really kind of, like, talks about the surrounding stuff. Remember that one time... We made a beginner gym guide video together. Ha <laughs> ha! It's right here! When you're getting started, there's always going to be a modification for each exercise to make it easier for you to begin. Lovely assistant here is going to show you how to do some band-assisted pull-ups. You're going to put it under your foot. She's real short, so she uses that thing to hop up. And that's it. You put your foot down, and you do the pull-up. Or she's doing chin-ups here. I am a walking OSHA violation. That is true. He is literally the wa walking OSHA violet. That why was that? That was such a. Pop, 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 pop. That was like a tongue twister for me. Walking OSHA. Vika prata svenska. Zero vika prata svenska. Okay. For example, if you see someone squatting or whatever they're doing in a rack setting and they have a barbell on their shoulders, you cannot go and put your gym bag right behind them. Because you have to look at them and see, what if this person fails their lift? They will probably yeet the weight backwards and it's gonna fall and then roll. So if you are right there, who's gonna, who's gonna get squashed? Anyway, this was just a part of gym safety that I wanted to talk about because it, I feel like it is just, it, it's, it, it, of course, of course, the point is always to like lift what you can handle, but that's like the obvious part. But the it's, non a, it's okay to push yourself, but there's also many ways to do it safely. But and not just safely people... for you, but safely for people around you. The thing is when people put their benches way, clo way too close to the rack. Like there should be like a walkable path between the rack and the benches. So that You're talking if... about the dumbbells. Are you talking about the dumbbell? Yeah, I'm talking about the dumbbell rack. Dumbbell I rack. put the bench in the rack. Well, well, I'm talking about the dumbbell rack. That kind of like goes into gym etiquette. Gym etiquette. Don't start doing all of these Instagram workouts that are just like a, like a safety hazard for both you and the people around you. Just be safe, man. Did you know like equestrian sports is like the mo one of the most dangerous sports on this planet?
but I want to include weightlifting in there. I haven't even done the statistics on that. Why are you smirking? Horses. <laughs> no, but like, I'm just saying that like weightlifting is like an actual dangerous sport. If you guys didn't know, Maria's a horse girl. <laughs> Our Instagram and TikTok is just exploding with information, but it's not, half of it's not true. And then the other half, it's not safe. And then there's that 1% that is good, but then that's not fun looking. Like it doesn't look fun when someone does something safely. Like it's not flashy. You know what I mean? Like it's way flashier to like do, do flashy, flashy exercises than, than the basics. Anyway, just be safe. That was the whole point of this video. It was probably, probably really long and pretty rambly, but enjoy. Right, bye. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Ben actually just left to the gym, but I thought of one more thing that I wanted to include in this video. And it is prematurely using gym equipment that you don't need. It's going to take a long time to get to a point where you actually genuinely benefit from using equipment that it's gonna do more good than harm. Did that make sense? It has taken me a substantial amount of training before incorporating stuff like this. The same goes for stuff like this. You don't need this. And if you do, you're probably lifting too heavy until your ligaments and wrists are ready for it or you are a hardcore gym rat and this video is not for you. And the same goes for these. He has the gangsta ones. Um, are mine gangs gangsta too? Mine are, mine are power. He's cooler than me. He's got the gangsta, I got the power. Bricks and the wraps and the, all of that stuff. There's a time and place, but probably a lot less places, a lot less times. I just realized that I forgot to record an outro, so here you go. Enjoy this video of me benching one plate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you can know.